let's look at how we can find the curvature of a function y equals f of x. And the way in which we can find the curvature k is it's equal to the second derivative of y with respect to x divided by 1 plus the first derivative squared or raised to the power of 3 on 2. So let's have a look at an example of working this out in practice for the curvature of the curve y equals sine x at the point pi on 6, 1 half. And curvature, interpretation of curvature, is it's a rate of change of the direction of the curve with respect to arc length. So for this example, we would start by working out what dy dx or y dashed is. And in this case, if y is sine x, the first derivative of y with respect to x is going to be cos x. And because we're interested in looking at the point pi on 6, 1 half, at x equals pi on 6, therefore y dashed will be cos pi on 6, which is equal to the square root of 3 on 2. Now working out the second derivative, y dash dash differentiating cos x is just going to give us negative sine x. And at x equal to pi on 6, the second derivative of y with respect to x is therefore going to be negative sine of pi on 6, which is equal to negative a half. So we now need to evaluate the curvature using this information. So once again, the curvature is just the second derivative divided by 1 plus the first derivative squared raised to the power of 3 on 2. So substituting our values in, in this case, we're going to get the curvature k is equal to negative a half divided by 1 plus y dashed, which is the square root of 3 on 2 squared. And that part on the denominator is all going to be raised to the power of 3 on 2. So we could simplify this a little bit. That's negative a half divided by 1 plus 3 quarters. And that whole expression on the bottom is going to still be raised to the power of 3 on 2. So just simplifying that down a bit, that's going to become negative a half divided by 7 quarters to the 3 on 2, which will simplify down to give us negative a half. Now 7 to the power of 3 on 2 is just 7 root 7. 4 to the power of 3 on 2 is 8. So that that whole thing is negative a half divided by 7 root 7 divided by 8. And so finally, just simplifying that down a little more, that's going to become negative a half multiplied by 8 divided by 7 root 7. And the 8 and the 2 will cancel down to give 4 and 1. So that in this case, the curvature is equal to negative 4 divided by 7 times the square root of 7. Now we can also work out the radius of curvature. And the radius of curvature is actually just equal to 1 divided by the curvature. So that's basically the reciprocal of the formula we saw before. So what that means, for instance, for the example we just looked at, is there the curvature was negative 4 divided by 7 times the square root of 7. Therefore, for this example, looking at the radius of curvature of y equals sine x at the same point, pi on 6, 1 half, radius of curvature, again, would just be 1 divided by the curvature or 1 divided by negative 4 divided by 7 root 7, which will just work out to be negative 7 times the square root of 7 divided by 4.